Welcome to our poster. In this poster, we're presenting two experiments in which we wanted to test whether some previous findings about text story reading would generalize to audiobook listening. Specifically, the previous findings were that the level of enjoyment of reading an excerpt from a book is predictive of both the comprehension of that text content and the motivation to engage further with the book for example, by waiting a number of seconds and paying a kind of temporal cost. We had two experiments. They were identical, aside from the fact that in the second experiment, the audiobooks were read by two different voices, whereas in the first experiment, there was just one voice. In order to generate all of this audiobook content, we used voice cloning technology. Here's the overall trial structure. Every trial started with a fixation cross and where there were more than one voice present, we prompted people with the identity of that voice as either voice A or voice B. People then heard a 30 to 40 second extract from a book. We had different genres of fiction and nonfiction. They were after that asked to rate on a scale from one to nine how much they enjoyed listening to that part of the book. They were given a comprehension question with four possible answers and asked to select the correct answer. And we quickly checked whether or not they had actually read or listened to this book before. Then we gave participants the choice to skip directly to the next story or to wait a small number of seconds in order to experience the continuation of the story. This repeated for 20 different stories and the ordering of the stories was randomized. In experiment two, we had 10 stories in one voice and 10 stories in the other. Here are the results. We wanted to test whether enjoyment of a story would predict the likelihood of answering the comprehension question correctly and the likelihood of waiting and paying a temporal cost to hear more. The findings that were previously demonstrated for text reading were replicated in audiobook listening. In experiment two, we found that a voice that was previously rated by other listeners as being higher in pleasantness was more enjoyed in our new experiment when people were listening to audiobooks in that voice. And we did a quick validation after our audiobooks experiment and explicitly asked our participants to evaluate the audio pleasantness of the two voices. And we found that indeed they did agree with our independent listeners that one of the voices was more pleasant than the other. And then we reran the analyses from experiment one and again showed that greater enjoyment is predictive of greater accuracy of comprehension and greater willingness to wait. So we've shown in two independent participant groups that these relationships between enjoyment, comprehension and motivation when reading books are replicated when listening. And what we're going on now to do is to further harness the voice identity cloning technology to test whether or not these levels of enjoyment may be enhanced when you're listening to a highly familiar voice, such as the voice of a friend or indeed your own voice.